Welcome to Random Radio. I'm your host, David Belander, and thanks for listening in. So every week, we discuss a random topic, and this week's topic was actually chosen by a listener. Um, it's I'm actually refining it into um, selfless acts, right? Um, and don't forget that anybody, if, if anybody offends on this show, they don't mean to offend, and they're just expressing their opinion. And with that out of the way, out of the way let's get on with the show. So, uh, first off, then, I'd just like to talk about selfless acts generally, right? Little things, even just little things, like holding the door or saying hello, those are selfless acts, right? They're doing things that aren't really going to benefit you, right? They're, well, selfless, yeah. Um, they're stuff that will not necessarily benefit you directly, right? Like holding the door, you're, help, you're just helping the people around you, right? And saying hello, you would be surprised how much it helps, even me, um, when people just say hello to me, right? It's just crazy how, um, just how much better I feel after somebody just comes over to me during lunch and says, hi, right? And just says, hey, I used to know you once, right? That's, it's just, I don't know. I just love, I don't know. Maybe that's just a me thing. I just love it when people come over and say hello to me. Just, and that's, that sounds like such a small thing. But for me, it's it's amazing. It's everything, and I love it. Um, but yeah, um, and I think that selfless acts. <laughs> there's a good side and a bad side to selfless acts. Well, quote unquote selfless acts. Um, they're good and they're amazing. Like, don't get me wrong, they're amazing, unless they're used to gain some kind of glory or power or some some kind of like a selfish need, right? Like I. I, I don't know, like when people hold the door just to say that they were holding the door at the time, right? Or when they're saying hello just to say that they could, just so that they can say to their teacher or to their friend, oh yeah, I said hello to this person, right? Like, it, it's bad. <laughs> In my opinion, it's bad to do that, to do a selfless act for yourself, right? Because that's, that kind of negates the point of a selfless act. It's like, for example, um, take me doing my podcast, right? I try to envision it as a selfless act, and I'm sure that at some point it's going to seem more selfish to a lot of people, including myself. Um, but right now, I'm trying to make this as selfless as possible, um, which ultimately means sometimes that then uh, things get cut. Like, um, for example, I'm recording this at like 9, 10, Monday night, and so I'm gonna I'm planning on posting it right after I finish recording and uploading and all that stuff. Um, but I'm planning on posting it right afterwards. So sorry if this um, episode ends up a little bit weird or just like unfinished, uncut, something like that. Um, I'm doing it in a little bit of a rush so that then I can actually get to bed on time because I still have to go to school tomorrow morning. At, and I'm I usually wake up at like six or six thirty just so that then I can get in the shower and I can do the things I want to do. Um, but this morning I was a little bit busy working on some other homework. Um, but anyway, uh, I view this podcast as a selfless act, at least for me. Um, I don't know if everybody thinks thinks of it as that, but for me, it's it's kind of a selfless act. And I'm, I don't know, it benefits me in a selfish way, right? But it's not like, it's an unintended, it's an unintended uh, consequence. Like, um, I don't know, like me buying a new microphone, right, for the podcast, then it's like, I'm putting this towards the podcast, but at the same time, I'm giving myself better equipment, right? So is that really selfish, or is that really a selfless act? I don't think it's selfless or selfish, I think it's kind of like in that middle area, but that's just my opinion. And, um, next up, let's actually, I actually, um, this was actually the part that was brought to me by a viewer, or a listener. Um, is people who live in floodplains, right? Like, we live in a floodplain, I, or I live in a floodplain, um, but it, we live in a, in basically a desert. Like, not the type of desert you'd think of, it's just that, like, we don't get lots and lots of water, like most other places do, so we usually don't get floods, but I do technically live on a floodplain, right? Or my whole city, my whole hometown is basically on a floodplain. Um, and we're content with that. But, I mean, like, the people who live, or even people who, like, live next to the beach, right? If a tsunami wipes out their house, then what I admire about at least a few people that live over there is that they're content with it. Is it they're not blaming it on other people, right? They're not blaming it on the situation. They're not 
you know what I mean, right? Like there, or at least some people do this, and those are like the best people, right? They they just got their house swept away by a hurricane or by a tsunami or something, right? And they're like, well, guess we're getting going again, right? Because <laughs> whether it be because they can't afford to move somewhere else or they can't afford to live somewhere else, um, but they're they're being the um, they're the people who are actually doing the good work, right? They're the people who are making it so that um, so that other people can live in the city or so that other people can live in places that aren't floodplains, right? That's what they're doing. Um, and it's it's annoying to me with the living in the floodplains thing. Um, it's annoying to me when people um, then start to complain about it, right? Because it's like you knew, you actively knew that you were um, living, that you are living on a floodplain, which means that you have the potential for your house to get swept away, just clean gone, right? Um, and it, it just bugs me that people complain so much about this. And I mean, like, I complain about my homework. I complain about, I occasionally I can't, I complain about the podcast, not often. But, um, yeah, I, I complain about stuff too, but it just bugs me because they knew actively what they were getting into. And it's just like, really? You knew what you were getting into. You have almost no right to complain about it. I don't know. That's, that's just my opinion. If you live in a floodplain and you get offended by this, I'm sorry. Um, not all people are that way. Not all people are perfect. Not all people are terrible. Right? There, there, there's the middle ground. Right? We all, we all complain about stuff, but we're all reasonably content with our lives because we're in our lives right now. <laughs> so, yeah. And uh, with that, let's actually move on to our commercial portion. So, um, I'm trying to get into a more like refined view for this podcast, um, which I'm planning to um, turn these random topics that I talk about. And at the end, I'm trying to, um, like, apply it into our lives in a good way, right? Um, and you'll and you'll see the first little bit of that here in just a minute. Um, but uh, before we get back in, I'd just like to say thank you so much to all the support, or well, to all the people who are even watching this. I, you have no idea how much it means to me that somebody listens to this. Right? I'd even be fine if one person listened to this, but the fact that on this, on the last one, as of the time of writing this, uh, or as of the time of recording this, uh, the last episode had 15 views on it, which, I mean, like, that doesn't sound like a lot, but to me, that means, hey, either, fi either one person watched my thing 15 times, which is amazing, or 15 people watched it once, or somewhere in between, which is amazing to me, right? That... I, I don't know. I just find it really cool. And now I think I have 15 subscribers too, which is amazing. Um, on Spotify, I, I've got like two views, but then Apple podcast rolls in their land, their analytics. And usually they end up, uh, those episodes end up with like 13 views or 14 views, something like that, which is amazing. I, I love that. Honestly, I find it amazing that 30 or that almost 30 people watch my podcast on like a weekly basis I, or on a monthly basis. I just find it crazy and amazing to me. I don't know. But enough about me. Let's actually get back into um, Selfless Acts. So now you're going to see the new, you're, you're going to hear the new part about um, what I'm planning to do with a podcast. And this will be applying it to our lives, right? Um, basically, moral, moral of all these stories, of all these people who are, like, living on floodplains, all these little acts of selflessness, right? Um, just be selfless, right? And, and don't be selfless for the glory. Don't do it for anything, in fact, right? Like, just do it for nothing. And I, I remember in, um, uh, what was it? I think it was, like, seventh grade world history. Not seventh grade, ninth grade world history. Um, we were taught about this one philosopher, like Greek philosopher. He, he thought that things, that everybody's in it to get something, basically, right? Everybody's doing it for a selfish purpose. Or everybody's doing something for a selfish purpose. Like, for example, grandma makes cookies for the, her grandkids, right? And you're like, oh yeah, she's being selfless. Yes, she is. Um, but this guy thought 
oh yeah, she she's doing it so that she can feel good about herself and feel like she's being a good grandma. But I don't completely agree th with that, personally. I think that people are selfless, like, people are selfless because they feel like being selfless. And if it affects them in a positive way, that's a, that's just a consequence, right? It's like, um, if we ever run out of air, um, turning water into hydrogen and oxygen, right? We meant to get, we meant to get the oxygen, but we end up with the extra hydrogen left over and we can use that for like power or something, right? It's just a bonus, I guess. <laughs> maybe that's just, maybe that's just me. But um, I view like selfless acts, anything that profits from it, for me, that's just a bonus, right? And if I feel like doing it again because of that bonus, then it becomes less selfless, but I'm still doing it for somebody else, right? I, I don't know. And also, um, be sure to, like, if you see an opportunity to be selfless, take that opportunity, right? I know that I don't do it enough. I, I see, every day, I see opportunities where I could be selfless. And then for the next, like, hour, I regret not doing it because I... I don't know, being selfless is a good thing, right? At least I think so. And being selfless also means like helping others, right? Like, um, which is one of the reasons why I love my church so much is that we're supportive, right? Or at least most of our, most of us are. Some of us aren't, but that happens with everybody, right? And in, in my religion, um, we, we, our religion, well, not like religiously, but like it, we support as a community each other, right? Like, like say somebody calls in to the bishop and says, hey, I need my, I can't um, plow my driveway or I can't um, shovel my driveway. Hey, can you, can, can you send somebody over to help? And it's like, and then he says, yes. And then one Tuesday night for mutual activity, then we, or for a, um, a young adult activity, we go and shovel the driveway or we go out and weed somebody's yard or we we do something of service right and i just find that amazing that we have the opportunity to help each other in our in our immediate community it's it's just a crazy thing to me but um yeah anyway just just be a good person be selfless right or try to be as selfless as you can be i know i don't do it enough and i really should do it more like, even just, like, unloading the dishwasher without being asked, even just doing my laundry without being asked, which I did this last week, but it got way too full. <laughs> so, yeah, or going and getting myself dinner, or going and getting the family dinner, I should really do that more often. Um, but, yeah, moral of the story, be selfless and do it, do it for other people. Don't do it for yourself, do it for others, right? That's the whole point of being selfless. Um, and to end this off... Um, I hope you guys have an amazing day, right? I, I really hope you guys do, as my viewers partially, but also because I really hope that you guys actually do have a good day. And if you're not having a good day, I'm sorry. I, w <laughs> I hope I can do something to help. If, if I can, let me know. Um, and with that, I'm David Bolander, and this was Random Radio, signing off.